hey man, thanks for uh, ordering ordering this gig. So uh, what I want to do is I look through your problems and uh, I want to kind of show you a step-by-step -step method that I did to solve um, the first one. So actually I want to read out the first one so I can just kind of say it and, and I'll let you know what I was thinking about when I read it. So yeah, the first one said, Sunshine Truck Rentals rents a truck at a daily rate of $57.99. So that means every day they're paying $57.99 plus $0.48 cents per mile. Then it says City Rentals rents the same size truck at $58.95 plus $0.46 cents per mile. For what mileage is the cost the same? So we need to kind of know a couple things. One thing, when they say for what mileage is the cost the same, that means we don't know what the mileage is. So I'm automatically going to say, well, my X is going to be the number of miles driven, all right? So usually on a word problem, when they ask for, hey, what is the value of this? You know that that's going to be your variable that you're going to have to solve for. So it says the number of miles is driven. Then it says, well, let's look at the cost. So it said the first one cost $57.99. Right? And then it said plus, it also cost 48 cents per mile. So that means every mile, it's going to cost me uh, 48 cents. So if you went one mile, it would cost you 48 cents. Two miles, it would cost you 96. And you can just see I'm using multiplication as, you know, the quick way of, uh, you know, addition. Whatever, how many miles I drive, I multiply that by putting 48 cents, and that's how much it costs, you know, the per mile. However, we also have to add in the daily rate. Well, then it says the other company only charge $58.95 and they charge $0.46 cents per mile. And notice also that I have my decimal point. It's 0.46, right? Because $0.46 cents is part of a dollar. Well, what they're asking is they're saying, when are these two equal? And if you link back and back into equations, equal is all about using equations. So really what I want to figure out is when is this company equal for that company? And really what I want to do is, what is the value of X, right? What is the number of miles driven when these two are equal? So to do this from here, I need to solve for X. Therefore, I need to get my X variable on the same side. So what I want to do is I want to get rid of the smaller variable. It's just going to make my math a little bit easier. So I need to get rid of a point, positive 8.46X, positive 0.46X. So I'm going to subtract a negative 0.46x on both sides. Remember, I can only subtract it from my like terms. This is going to cancel to zero. And so I'm left with 57.99 equals plus 0.02x, when I subtract is two, equals 58.95. Now, to isolate my x, I need to subtract my 57.95 or 57.99, that's going to cancel to zero. And what my answer I end up getting is um, 0.02x equals 0.96. Now, to solve for x, I divide by 0 0.02. And what I get is x equals 48. So therefore, the number of miles driven when these two companies are going to cost the same is 48 miles. So I hope this answer helped you out. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me and I'll be more than happy to re-explain or explain further any concept in the problem. All right, thanks, man.